Welcome to Bluegrass 101. We are uh, on the St. Patrick's Day. We are doing the song, How Long Have I Been Waiting For You? Now, this was written by Jonathan Edwards. He uh, played music in the Virginia area and uh, was a country and country singer. He, uh, but he didn't record this. Well, his most famous song was Sunshine, uh, but he did not record this song first. Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver recorded this uh, on in 1979 um, Jonathan would record this song with country gentlemen in the 80s but uh, the very first recording of this was by Doyle Lawson so we're gonna do their version we're gonna do it in the key of B and this has some interesting chord changes and I'm gonna talk about it uh, but first let's learn the song uh, we're gonna do the standard boom chick boom to do it a little slower than how they recorded it it pops pretty quick so one two three how long have i been waiting for you how long have you been on your way how long has all Thank you, Lee. Glad to see you're, you're a regular now as well, too. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Um, so that is the foundation of it. It's an interesting song. It only has a verse and a chorus, and then it just repeats the verse and the chorus. In fact, the uh, instrumental break is a verse and a chorus. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, a verse and a chorus. So it goes chorus, verse, verse, chorus, chorus, uh, first chorus, verse chorus. It's, it's a very, very strange structure, a very, very interesting song. And there's some really, really subtle stuff that happens in it. There are chord changes that occur vocally, but do not occur instrumentally. So by that, right off the bat, how long have I been waiting for you? He goes, he pops in the C there. Long have I been waiting for you? But they don't chord that. How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? There, 
you would naturally go, you, you've been on your way. But he doesn't. He parks. So there's all these weird stuff that's happening really, really subtly. You, you, you've been on your way. So instead of going, love been decided, which would be the same as the first verse, he's changing the lyric, the melody. Love been decided, only forever, don't you ever go away. So very complicated uh, structure there to end it. Only forever, don't you ever go away. So that is a bit of a trick. So watch out for that in regards to the tune. Now, the core, the verse. Waiting is a game. He's playing a D. He's playing a, a five chord against the one. Waiting is a game. He should be going. Waiting is a game that I was getting good at but he doesn't do that for the first half of the verse. Waiting this game that I was, I was getting good at. Sitting and watching was becoming my style. Today I have found. The second time he goes through, he does do the five chord. Today I have found I can love again and will. You'll be staying in my heart. For a long, long while. Now, the second time that he sings the verse, he does a little more vocal, interesting vocal things. Waiting is a game that I was getting good at. Sitting and watching was becoming my style. So he's going up really high. It's becoming my style. Today I have found I can love again and will. You'll be staying in my heart for a long, long while. Because that is sung as uh, just you're on your own, you can do all sorts of fun things, especially because you sing the verse twice. It's the same verse. Um, you can do all sorts of vocalizations. But when you get to the chorus, so important. How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? Make it very, very, uh, held, hold those notes and hit each one. Don't scoop into them. You've been on your way. How long has our love been decided? Only forever, don't you ever know? So let's go through this again. Um, we'll do it uh, slow again. And uh, this time we'll do the breaks. The intro goes. Um, so it starts off with this mandolin. How long have I been waiting for you? So that's what we're going to do. One, two, three, intro. Good at. 
spinning and watching was becoming my style. Today I have found I can love again and will. You'll be staying in my heart for a long, long while. I long I've been waiting for you. How long have you been on your way? How long has our love been decided? Only forever, don't you ever go away? Watching was becoming my style. Today I have found I can love again and will. You'll be staying in my heart for a long, long while. How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? How long is Decided only forever, don't you ever go away? Only forever, don't you ever go away? Okay, now <laughs> vocally, that is a very tricky song to sing. Let's get into the harmony. Um, how long have I? So those are the notes, the root and the third. How long have I? How long have I? How long have I? How long have I been waiting for you? Now, um, Technically, because uh, the lead is going up, on the vibe, been waiting for you. you would think that the lead would go up, but he doesn't, or the tenor would go up. The tenor does not go up. Parks on that note. How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you? Do that really slow because it is a weird break, and because it's going uh, forever, don't you ever go away again? Only forever, don't you ever go away? Only forever, don't you ever go away? Okay, let's do that really, really slow because it is a tricky harmony. One, two, three. How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the program called Audacity, A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y. I'm going to record myself singing the lead. One, two, three. 
tree How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? How long has our love been decided? Only forever, don't you ever go away? Okay, now we're going to record the tenor to this so that we can hear how the tenor sounds. Track, add, new, stereo track. So we have to think of the notes. There it is. How long have I, right? How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? How long has our love been decided? Only forever, don't you ever go away. So that is the tenor to that. Let's see if I got that one, one two, three. How long have I... Pretty close. Let's see if I can just. I deleted too much. One, two. How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? How long have you been on your way? I was a little off on that note, but that's okay. You get the idea. I will clean that up another time. Um, but let's do the baritone. So if the lead is going and the tenor is going, so we have this note covered, this note covered, I have to start on this note. sang so weak there because I was worried about that note. Only forever, don't you ever go away. Only forever, don't you ever, ever go. Those are the notes. Never, ever go away. And then the last note that you park on, never go away. Is the same note. Ever go away, only forever. Ever go away, only forever. Don't you ever, ever go away. This is such a nasty note. Ever, don't you ever go away. I'm still flat. Ever, don't you ever. That's the note. Only forever, don't you ever go away. It's easier when there's someone else singing. So let's add, let's just, actually I'm going to mute the tenor and you can hear how 
One. That baritone works two, against me. Three. Four. How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? How long has our love been decided? Only forever, don't you ever go away. Now, that sounds a little weak because we're missing that tenor. And when you hear the lead and the tenor, you can hear how that baritone just fills the room. Two. That note. Three. How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? It is such a beautiful three-part harmony, and this is classic Doyle Lost and Quicksilver. Um, they did massive amounts of harmony work. Doyle, Doyle worked with Country Gentlemen for years, and Country Gentlemen were really, really uh, focused on that three-part harmony, um, and that just carried over into Doyle Loss and he would do like old spiritual numbers and do them completely a cappella. So harmony was a very, very major feature. And this is just him like starting out with his band. And you can hear in the original recording just how tight those lyrics are. Let's listen to it again. Um, plus this gives you an opportunity. Uh, if you've done tenor, um, hear that tenor. Uh, if you sang just the lead, see if you can get that tenor. Or try the baritone. One, uh, that's my note. two, three. How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? How long has our love been decided? Only forever. Away. And this is like a clear, clear picture of why you hold those notes for as long as you do. Um, it allows that really, really beautiful bend, blend. If I just go, how long, how long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? No, it completely loses all of that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful harmony. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you the opportunity to sing lead. Um, I recall when I did, excuse me, when I did the um, instrumental break, when we were just learning the song, I didn't do the proper break. The proper break is this game that I was getting good at. Um, so it does the verse and then the chorus. So the it's it's like a full, full-on instrumental break, a double break, really. It does the verse and the chorus, and then it goes back into the verse and the chorus. Okay, so um, I will give little hints as to when the uh, the verses come in. Uh, they're a little they're a little tricky. Um, and I'll, I'll give a key, like instrumental verse, instrumental chorus, and uh, yeah, we'll get this going. Okay, so I'm going to sing the tenor. You folks out there are going to sing the lead or sing the tenor along with me, or even sing the baritone with the tenor, which is going to sound very strange, but pretty cool. Um, whatever you want. And also, you guys get to do the instrumental breaks, because I'm just playing rhythm guitar. So uh, let's get this going. Beginning again goes. Okay, so 
let's get this show on the road. We're going to be singing the tenor and doing rhythm guitar. You fill in the rest. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. There we are, a nice natural fade. Thank you so much, Cam. So now we have the tenor. We have a rhythm guitar track. Now we can do a little bit of a banjo. So we want to add some banjo rolls through this. Uh, it is heavily rolled through, um, except for when the mando is taking a break at the very beginning. And even the um, intro, is a split break. Uh, they do us so the original recording of this it goes mandolin, banjo, split intro, then the verse is split, uh, fiddle, uh, dobro, dobro, and then fiddle, or fiddle and dobro. Uh, I can't remember. Um, and then the chorus break is banjo again. So, really, really cool. Um, the intro okay we got the intro part let's get this so mandolin i'm going to do the mandolin and i'm going to be singing baritone to this as best i can 
Let's see if I can do this. Uh, adding a new stereo track. This is gives a really good opportunity for those that are singing lead. Um, hopefully, if I do it right, you will be able to really fill in that uh, the lead in between the baritone and the tenor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. <laughs> Week, 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 Darcy. You didn't come in at the right time because you were thinking about your break that you were doing. And that is how you get into trouble playing bluegrass. If you think about what you've already done, you are too late. But this is why we do Bluegrass 101 is we give it an opportunity to correct ourselves one, and do it over two, and over again. Three, four, ends. I forgot that there is a little bit of a, a tag on the end there, but that's okay. Uh, I shouldn't have. I should have just ended it as the guitar player did, but it just snuck into my memory. So we have the Lee, uh, we have the baritone, we have the tenor. All we're missing is mandolin and the fiddle and an upright bass. And um, man, I miss it. <laughs> We used we usually do this at Pleasant View Community Hall. Um, well, we haven't for uh, well a, a year now, 
Um, it's basically been a year since we've been in lockdown. Um, so yeah, missing you all. Definitely missing um, my good friend Jim Story, who provides the uh, the low bass and uh, provides that one and three so that I actually keep in time. But um, oh well, soon. Okay, well let's, so it does a mandolin break at the beginning and, uh, and then the mandolin basically just chucks the rest of the way through. So uh, let's see how close I can get to the Master Doyle Lawson's intro one, two, over and over again. Three, four, one, two, three. <laughs> Okay, we got a pretty good blend there. We got the levels relatively close. Let's do the mandolin chuck and the lead. Um, and as I said, this is Bluegrass 101, so it provides an opportunity for you to practice over and over again. I do post this up on YouTube later um, so that you can go over it and go over whichever parts you really want to, whether it's an instrumental break that you want to nail or whether it's a harmony that you want to nail, or the lead vocals, whatever, or the full song, that's cool too. Um, but it also gives you an opportunity to do stuff maybe you've never done before, like an instrumental break, or you've never sung lead before, or you've never sung a harmony part before. So if you've been singing lead, maybe try the harmony, or, um, either the tenor or the baritone. As I said, if you've never sung before, this is a great opportunity to sing. Let's see how we can get it here. Do it over and over again. Three, four, one, two, three. How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? Decided only forever, don't you ever go away? Waiting is a game that I was getting good at. Sitting and watching was becoming my style. Today I have found I can love again and will. You'll be staying in my heart for a long, long while. How long have I been waiting for you? How long have you been on your way? How long has our love been decided? Only forever, don't you ever go away? Only forever, don't you ever go away? 
only forever, don't you ever go away. So that is how long have I been waiting for you. Um, I hope you learned a little bit and got an opportunity to sing and play. As I said, this is a beautiful song to do with three-part harmony. If you do have a uh, cohort that are uh, musicians as well, this is a great song to work up uh, with one another. And if you're like me who uh, is playing and singing alone in their basement, uh, I highly recommend uh, downloading the program Audacity and uh, and recording yourself um, singing one or two of the parts at least and being able to uh, to play against it. Thanks, sis. Um, and yeah, uh, again, thank you all so much. It's uh, great to see people's names and people that I rec recognize. And uh, thank you all for the very kind notes. Um, it's very much appreciated. And I am here every wednesday if you uh if you want to play uh bluegrass in the covid environment um i i'm not sure actually which uh what song we're doing next week but i will post it up on facebook and uh you all take care um keep your hands and you pick and clean love you all and miss you all thank you so much take care bye